Hello. Sometimes I think to myself, it might be fun to try to act in a movie. So I wrote out a whole bunch of little scripts and I acted them out in this video. Who knows, maybe a filmmaker might see this one day and say, sure, I'll put this guy in my movie. Even if I just have one little line to say, or even no lines, I think it'd be fun to act in a movie. So here are some clips of me trying to act. Feel free to offer any feedback in the comments on how I can improve my acting. Thank you. Oh my. Mama, is them aliens? Yep. Mama, remember that picture book you showed me when I was 10 with the aliens? They're here. That's them, Mama. The aliens have arrived. Oh, you'll see a couple miles ahead on the right. By the way, I personally ain't into the supernatural, but I just thought I'd let you know because you're tourists and you might find this shit interesting. Folks say that place is haunted. Regardless if it's haunted or not, you kids be careful up there. Next Tuesday? Yes, I'll be there. I'll bring some fresh greens from the garden. And radishes. I'll bring radishes. I remember you said you love radishes. Oh, oh, that wasn't you. That was Mike. You hate radishes. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I won't bring any radishes. Just the greens. Yeah. Yes, I know. William sold six cars last week and I sold none. Bravo, William. Maybe selling cars ain't my thing. What is my thing? I don't know. Maybe I don't have a thing. Maybe I'll never have a thing. One thing I do know is I'm not gonna let not having a thing stress me out. I hear ya. Sounds like it could be fun, possibly. I'm just wondering if I decide to go with ya and we get separated and I get scared how am I going to get back home? One time I got lost in the woods. I was terrified. Eventually, I heard the missus calling for me. Charlie! Where are you, Charlie? Oh, most beautiful sound I ever heard. No, I don't think I'm better than you or anyone else. I'm just someone who knows that the people of this town have had enough of being oppressed. And I'm here to let you know the oppression stops now. Do we have an understanding here? The oppression stops now. I can't remember. I tried very hard to recollect, but I can't remember. Oh, I remember. Sheila asked me to go to the store to get us some cabbage so we can make cabbage soup this evening for dinner. <laughs> I remember. That tofu was delightful, thank you. Was that red stuff paprika or cayenne? I get those two mixed up sometimes. And that green stuff, oh, I'm not even going to try to guess what that green stuff was. Dill? Oregano? Ma'am, how much you asking for that shiny little trinket? You know, the one in the window. Ten cents? Hmm. That's awful expensive. But you know what? I think Mama would like that for her birthday. Yes, my friend. Six hundred dollars. That's what the Lord of the Land said we owe him $600 and not just once every month $600 every month in perpetuity that means forever and the best part is the mortgage on this house got paid off in 1998 I don't know nothing I don't know nothing I used to think I knew a few things, 
But after that unfortunate incident at work last week, it has become clear to me that I don't know nothing. Actually, I know one thing. I know that I'm quitting. I'm going tomorrow into that office and I'm telling my bosses I quit. Yes, ma'am. 50 cents sounds about right for all the work I've done here. I'd have done it for free, but I gotta save up money on account of my children needing shoes. Sandwiches! I've never seen so many sandwiches before in all my life. Pickle sandwiches, tomato sandwiches, cucumber sandwiches. <gasps> he hired somebody else. I shan't be needing to borrow your shovel after all. Thank you, though, for agreeing to let me borrow your shovel. Every time we share, we help to create a culture of sharing and caring for all. With the simple act of agreeing to let me borrow your shovel, you have touched my heart. Rachel, you have nothing to apologize for. You've done a wonderful thing inviting your parents to come live with us. I think that we're going to have a lot of fun together. I love your parents. I just don't want to hear any of your father's fishing stories, that's all. I'm sorry his back hurts, but I'm glad he's retired from fishing. As we know, fishes have better things to do with their days than get tortured. I just got back from the hospital. The doc says grandma is going to be okay. She has expressed interest in getting one of those prosthetic legs. We're going to get one for her. Oh, I can just picture us now dancing together in the kitchen just like old times. Grandma's such a good dancer, she could dance even without a prosthetic leg. She could dance even just using her eyes. You ever see how Grandma's eyes dance when she smiles and laughs? Yes, I have seen some shits, hmm. But obviously not as much as you have. If you are willing to share, there's nothing I'd like more than to pull up a chair and listen to as many stories as you are willing to share. Sad stories, happy stories, scary stories, any kinds of stories at all. Because I love you, and listening to you and your stories is a wonderful pleasure.